well, hello, I'm, I'm in Pamplona, whatever that might be. <laughs> um, my hostel is dead close to this lovely fountain. And I think I walked up here. I hope it's this one because there is a decathlon down here. Oh, oops. Um, so I had a bit of a drama. I had a bit of a drama today, or well, a bit last night. So what's new, hey? Tell me what's new. Um, the, the place I was staying at, they offered clothes to be washed for one euro. And apparently they do eight euros to dry them. So that's useful, isn't it? Having said that, by the, by the time I discovered it, it was well too late. So, I hope this is the way. So, um, so I washed them myself because they were really a bit grim and I hung them out hoping that they would dry overnight and uh, they didn't. So I stuffed them into a, uh, a clothes bag and strapped them to the back of my rucksack. As you do. No, it's not this way. Shit. Okay. So I strapped into the back of the rucksack, and when I was walking, somewhere along the line, it fell off. And uh, it's like, oh, whatever. What do you do? So, can I get across or get across? I'll do it. <laughs> So yeah, so yeah, uh, my, my wet clothes strapped to my rucksack, did not stay strapped to the rucksack, fell off somewhere along the way between Zubiri and Pamplona. So not best pleased, because I've got to find where the decathlon is and uh, get some more clothes. Ah, oi vey. Anyway. Nice place, isn't it? Nice place what I can show you so far. I'm pretty sure it was down. Is it down this one? Yes, it's down this one. That's where Decathlon is. It's strange to be back in um, in civilization and uh, with lots of choice of what you can eat having said that there's a Domino's <laughs> or Sweet Express or whatever it is right next to the hostel I wonder if they do a Spanish version of a pizza like having pulpo I like a Lego on oh that would be lovely wouldn't it uh, but the cheese will probably be manchego, with my luck. Yes, we're going to talk about Camino diets. Uh, it's a great place to to come and, and reset your your eating habits. I've been trying to do that. Having said that, yesterday I had paella, which was the blandest paella I've ever had. But to follow from that, I also had um, tuna with tomato, which was really, really nice. Simple. That was the main course, and that was... You know, really good. Uh, that f I was followed. <laughs> that followed curd. So I said, curd. I thought, well, I've got to have curd sitting there on me tuffet, you know. And that was just bland. Very, very bland indeed. But hey, you know, it's all part of the experience, isn't it? So, walking today. Uh, Tricky in places, muddy as well. I'm, I'm quite muddy. My my boots are muddy. They kept the water out, which was good. But because I have a, a set of clothes I'm standing up to, they need to be washed. And the guys at the Aloha Hostel, you go in and say Hola, Aloha. <laughs> well, that's a bit tricky, isn't it? 
<laughs> that could go a bit further, couldn't it? You could go, um, oh dear, I'm going to make a mistake here, aren't I? Uh, ole, ole, hola, aloha. I did it. Ah, look. Oh, I'm so pleased. That little blue and white sign that says Decathlon. Knowing my luck, it'll be closed. <laughs> we shall see what sort of light clothing I can get. Anything that's not heavy for my rucksack. Let's hope they're open. Right, and on that note, uh, there are no bulls running around the streets today, so that's a good thing, isn't it? <laughs> right, talk to you later. Have fun. <laughs>